Hello, this is the Apple Mac Master here, and I am going to be showing you a little about Mario Paint. Mario Paint is probably most famous for its Windows version, but it also does exist on Mac, and it's pretty fun to use sometimes. I have a video showing you how to download it, so I'll have a link to that in the description. And it does take some musical talent to use this, but very little. Like, if you took a music class in middle school, you'll do fine. So basically, how this works is up here we have little pictures. Each of them corresponds to like a different sound. For example, the star will do this little sound, and the Game Boy will do like a little beep. Some of them are weird, like the Yoshi does a Yoshi sound. And basically, you can incorporate all of these into a song and make a good song out of it. So now. One of the most important parts of the song, or to note about this program first, is that you can't put 8th notes, 16th notes, 32nd notes, any of those. The most note you can put is, an, is a quarter note. So what you're going to have to do for a song that has 8th notes is you're going to have to treat the 8th notes as quarter notes, and you're going to have to double the tempo. Which, it can get kind of annoying at times, but it's a free program, so it's not that bad. And you can also make it so that the time signature is 3-4 instead of 4-4. Four, four. Most songs are in 4-4 four, four, though, so if you don't really know what you're doing, I would leave it at 4-4. Four, four. And now I'm just going to go over some of the different instruments here. You can do this on your own, but I'll do it with you, I guess. That's... I don't even know how to describe that. This is like a bass drum, I think. Or maybe like a little tom or something, but notice like even for the drums, like if you place it higher on the treble clef or on the staff, it'll have a different sound. Like for example, if I place it down here, listen. But if I place it up here, it'll have more of like a yeah, a higher sound. So keep that in mind. And by the way, what I'm doing right now, if you click on that E right there, it becomes green. Your mouse becomes an eraser. So you can erase whatever notes you have and fix any mistakes. So, what's a Yoshi sound? That's a star. It's like a saxophone, I think. A beep. Um, right here, the car is probably one of the, the better sounds. Because you can use it for almost anything. And the this is... I still don't know if that's a guitar or a piano. To me, it sounds like more of a piano, but some people have said it sounds kind of like a clean guitar. The prana sounds like an electric guitar. The heart sounds either like a clean guitar or a bass, depending on where you put it. And the shy guy also has a pretty cool effect. It'll like add, um... I don't even know what to call it. It'll add like a... I don't know. It'll add something to your song. And the only two percussion instruments, by the way, are the mushroom and the and the boat so use those wisely but you'll see that they can get you through the day pretty well because of how different they sound depending on where you put them like if that sounds more like a closed hi-hat and down here it sounds kind of like a low tom to me I'm not a drummer so I wouldn't know that much but you can have a lot of fun with this program and once you make your song if you want to save it just click down here where it says save song if you want to load one of the songs you've already made you can click right here on load to load your song and name it and this name is going to be what it's saved as so keep that in mind while you give it your name right, just to show you the, um i'll put on i do not know what should i put on i i think that this one is um yeah, this is Don't Stop Believing by Journey. I made this, um, whatever, just so you see how it works. And the loop button, it just loops the song over and over. So, you can just see how it works. So you notice that because I turned loop on, the song started to repeat itself again. It would just do that indefinitely until you press the stop button. And 
I don't think I've gone over it yet, but placing notes is just common sense. Just uh, place a note, click on the type of note you want to place, and click on exactly where you want to place it. For a Mac, um, if you want to place a sharp, you have to press the shift button while you place it. And if you want to place um, a, a flat, sorry, if you want to place a flat, you press the control button while you place it. And that's pretty much all there is to this program. I already have the tutorial explaining how to get it, and it's pretty easy to use. It's fun to waste time with. If you don't know about music, you can actually have some fun with it. There's some great YouTube videos out there of people who have done great songs using this. And I just download it and check it out if you haven't yet.